Good morning. Uh, my name is Mike Shaw. I'm a San Diego County resident. I'm a contractor, trading contractor, and equipment owner. And uh, I think that one of the things is, that's come, become apparent today is that the, you have a flawed model from which this regulation has been built on. It's going to be a, uh, an academic discussion with some very bright people to determine maybe wh how flawed the model is. You say between 40 and 100 percent. We think perhaps as much as 300 percent or more. And, you know, again, these bright people are going to come up with a resolution for this over time and come to an agreement. That's pretty neat. Now, on the other side of the table, you have people out here, people like me, that have taken steps towards compliance. I'm a compliant contractor now. After having spent between 5 and $6 million on new engines and retiring over 45 pieces of equipment, 28,000 horsepower. It's really encouraging to me to hear today in this room that maybe we were off only 100% and maybe I only had to spend two and a half instead of the five million I've already spent, and maybe I could have kept 20 of those tractors that I had to get rid of to become compliant today. So I'm a little discouraged about this process, and I think it's very important that before anything else happens, you come to the bottom line on this thing. We still have to make these moves to comply because they take a lot, a lot of time and a lot of planning and cost a lot of money. So this has got to be fixed before you move on. Uh, bottom line on this thing, I think that uh, it's my belief, and I've reviewed the Sierra information for as, as well as I can read it. Looks pretty good to me. I don't think there's any question you can't push this thing back five years to 2015 and still get everything that you want. Uh, my comments.